Thanks for watching The Fumble. Over the last few months in the UFC, there have been quite a few drug scandals before or after a fight. Well, UFC 202 between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz is no different. Nate is under investigation by the United States Anti-Doping Agency, but not for what you think. In a post-fight press conference, Nate was answering questions and smoking a vape pen. A reporter asked what exactly he's smoking, and this is what he said. CBD, it helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these for before or after the fight's training and make your life a better place. All right, CBD stands for cannabis oil, which is one of the active cannabinoids in cannabis. Cannabinoids are banned in competition by the USADA and in competition is considered the six hours before or six hours after a fight. Nate's press conference where he smoked was within that time frame. Now some potential consequences of this can come in the form of a fine or even up to a one year ban from the UFC. CBD does not give a mental high the way THC does. It really only acts as an anti-nausea, anti-seizure, and anti-inflammatory in the body. All things Nate probably needed after that fight. Diaz has never failed a drug test in his MMA career. I know what you're thinking. What a stupid thing to be under investigation for. I agree. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. I personally do not smoke anything, but someone has got to update the USADA substance list for our athletes. MMA and NFL athletes take the biggest beatings on their bodies, and many of them are given highly addictive narcotics for their injuries, and because they have a prescription for it, it's okay. But when they take a substance like the one Nate took, which is natural and doesn't even give any type of high, he's under investigation. Not cool! What do you guys think about this? Sound off in the comments below. For the latest sports news, check the Fumble Daily and make sure to subscribe before you go.